Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be coming across one of the funniest encounters in the entire game. I mean, this is just amazing, and it's a just random event that any of you guys can participate in. So, this actually happens in Strawberry, and I'll just let you guys take a listen to what happens right here, because basically this white dot flashed on my map, and this individual wanted my attention. Sold me a serum made from rhino horn for a little problem I've been having. It didn't work, so I took it to a pharmacist. Turns out it's just water, table salt, and flour. You gotta help me find the bastard. Uh, all right. So, uh, which way do you go? Not sure. I reckon he's hiding in town somewhere. I'll keep looking here. If you can check the other side of the river. Howdy. So as you guys heard and saw there, this guy in the red plaid jacket had a little bit of a problem and you can kind of see what he was maybe pointing to. And he said it was made for rhino horns or made from rhino horns, but it turns out to be just like salt water and flour and stuff like that. So obviously it was a giant scam and he wants us to look on the other side of the river to try and find him. So I knocked on a couple of doors, even though I really slammed into them until I saw something coming from the outhouse. And this is what happened. <laughs> What's that smell? Hey there. Sell any miracle cures lately? Hear that rhino horn is real hard to come by. Shh. I get it. I get it. Just keep it down. That look did sense you here, didn't he? I did the women out here a favor. Don't tell them I'm born here, please. Oh, God. So, as you guys can see there, this scam artist is literally hiding in an outhouse. Now, I didn't even know these were outhouses, but apparently this is where people use the restroom, just publicly. No door, no nothing. They sit on wood. How uncomfortable does that look? No privacy at all. But now you have to make a decision. Are you going to tell the guy who got scammed where the scammer is, or are you going to mislead him? And this is what will happen. Swindler's waist deep in shit over behind the woodworks. Okay, I'm gonna make him drown in that shit hole. So the first instance, I wanted to assist our friend here, help him get some revenge, and we end up going over to the outhouse where this cutscene happens. You. Oh, to chop your pecker off, you goddamn buckle artist! No, 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 no! Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait! Mm, I mm, worked mm, for the other customer, I swear! Did you take it like I said? Shut your bone box! Uh, Round uh, the horn, uh, my ass! Uh, you uh, sold me uh, hard tech uh, in a bottle! Uh, 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 Stay that away from me! I don't deserve the end! Jesus! Jesus! Yeah! Mess with me! See what happens! Let's see you sell your rhino bunk now! Listen, not a word of this to anyone. Agreed? He had it coming. Seems that was gonna happen to him sooner or later. It's like I was never here. You never saw me, okay? Too bad you still got, uh, that little problem, huh? No call for that. Hear me? 
So holy smokes, this guy literally went up to this outhouse and he drowned him in the poopy water. I don't know if there are many worse ways to die, but that one sounds pretty bad. Now, honestly, this scammer kind of deserves it. Like, there are a million places in the world you could go, but you chose to hide out in a public toilet in the same town in which you just scammed someone. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of seems as if this guy really deserved it for not being a smart criminal. And after that, I wanted to follow our small pecker guy who just seemed to walk away, and that's it. So after he got his revenge, he left, he got the heck out of Dodge, and uh, was going to go away from Strawberry. So that was option number one that you could have. There's obviously a second scenario here. So before I got to Strawberry, I ended up saving, so I just simply uh, reloaded on my save, and wouldn't you know, the next time I came there, he was roughly in the exact same spot, and he'll do something very similar where he'll, he'll call you over and say, a con man sold him a serum made from rhino horn, and yada, 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 you get the idea, you have to go find him. So once again, you go back to the guy in the outhouse, and the exact same thing will happen. He'll say, you know, don't tell him he's here, and now you go back to the man, but this time we are going to say that we don't know where he is. We are going to mislead him. And this is what occurs. And you can too. Well, any luck? Literally explode. Afraid not. Because with everything. Might have heard I you know, holler and left. Goddamn slippery son of a bitch. Wish I could have rung him up for the common good, of course. So after you mislead him, he hops on his horse or some random person's horse and he just gets out of town, maybe to go try and search for the con man in a different area. However, I wanted to return back to our guy to see if he would have some sort of different conversation for us. The, uh, Mr. Limp Dick won't be a problem anymore. What a lunatic. <laughs> I can never thank you enough. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, coming out. Oh, man. So as you guys saw there, as he was trying to get out of the outhouse, apparently he slipped and hit his head and he fell back into the poopy water. And that's how he died. And this time you can actually see his body there, which is just literally sitting in what you would find at the bottom of an outhouse. And it's pretty grotesque. I will say that you can actually shoot him if you want, which does cause his body to just completely disappear. I promise you I'm not using any magic bullets here or anything like that, but the second you fire, he literally disappears from the inside of the outhouse. And I wanted to do a couple more experiments before we left here, so I ended up getting some dynamite, seeing if I could completely blow away this outhouse to see if we could gather uh, either A, where his body went, or B, just destroy it for the sake of destroying it. And unfortunately, we were not able to do anything. This outhouse is indestructible, no matter how many sticks of dynamite you ultimately throw at it. But this is one of the funniest encounters I've had in the entire game. It's a chance encounter that happens in Strawberry. So this chance encounter is actually called On the Run. And Rockstar's description is an angry man in Strawberry is searching for a swindler who sold him a bogus cure for impotence. And because of this, there's actually some honor outcomes that happened here. So you'll actually get plus two honor for misleading the angry man and returning to the swindler. However, you'll actually get negative five honor for assisting the angry man and watching the swindler get killed. So the honorable thing to do here is to mislead the angry man and return to the swindler. The dishonorable thing to do here is to assist the angry man and watch him drown him. And I'm not sure what happens if you just tell him about it and then walk away. 
I'm assuming it's still negative on her, but not as much. Either way, it's definitely not a ton, but just in case you wanted to try this for yourself, just know that there are some honor implications that go about watching a man die on the inside of an outhouse. So either way, one of the most funny encounters in the game, I highly recommend you try this out for yourself. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What would you have done in this situation? Would you have helped the swindler or would you have helped the angry man? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.